I think once you've had a pug, you will always love a pug. I just love their characters. I, I just love them. They're, they're good fun, they're loving, they're good company. And I certainly wouldn't be without one. <laughs> Pugs are lovely little dogs, real characters, they really enjoy human company. As long as you're there, even if you're busy on the computer or doing cooking, whatever you're doing, if you're there, they're happy. <laughs> Temperament-wise, they're very, very good. My grandson lives with me and the five pugs and sits in the dog bed and plays with them. They, they are just trustworthy. They can make ideal family dogs for people who live in town because they don't necessarily need lots of exercise. Because they have less exercise demands, although they still like a daily walk, we would often rehome one as a companion, maybe to a retired person, or somebody who just wants a little friend. They are fit little dogs, despite what people think. People tend to think they're fat little couch potatoes, but they, they do love their walks. Pugs have a flat face, obviously, so their cooling system to put it simply, the cooling system is not the same in a pug as it is with a, a longer-nosed dog. So it is important to be careful with them in the heat. In the summer, walk them early before it gets too hot. Maybe not take them as far. Make sure you've got water with you and just never, ever leave them in a car. It doesn't take long for the car to heat up and, and for the dog to die, basically. So just ever, never. If you're taking them in the car and it's hot, have the windows open. You can buy little fans to put on the pens in the car. You can put cold towels down, wet towels down inside the pen, um, have a water spray. So, you know, you can travel with your pugs in the summer, but just don't leave them. That's, you know, keep, keep them cool and be sensible. There's a fawn and a black, and a couple of variations on the fawn, which can be apricot to uh, silver. They, the fawns in particular shed more than the blacks. The fawns have a double coat, they should have a double coat. So they will lose their coats quite a bit twice a year. Um, bitches can lose more when they're in season or if they've had puppies obviously. But having said that, they do lose their coat all through the year. You will always be like this. <laughs> Obviously with that little nose you need to be careful to keep that clean. If they get dirt and muck in there, which they can easily do if they're sniffing around, it just takes a couple of minutes a day to give it a wipe with a, a simple baby wipe or a cotton wool pad with water. Their eyes are vulnerable, with them having a flat face and a relatively large eye, their eyes are vulnerable, especially when they're puppies and they're running around clowning around and bumping into things. So we always say to, say to people, keep a good watch on their eyes and if the eye is blinking, if it's watering, if it's not looking quite right, get them to the vet straight away because the sooner you start treatment, you've got a good chance of sorting it out. When you think about training a pug, really you've got a very amiable little chap who shouldn't be too much trouble training. I've had lots of them through training classes, they've all been absolutely super. The only thing you want to be thinking about though is that they are brachycephalic, which means they've got squashed faces, which means that sometimes they can have troubles breathing. So you can't exercise them or train them in warm weather or really for very long periods of time. You've got to keep it fun for a pug. He's going to know when you're getting bar in and if you do that it can be absolutely hilarious when training. <laughs>